Never mind where you come from. Never mind what your faith or religion is. Come share your pain. Hold my hand and pull yourself up. Come on in. There's always room for one more. It was in the year 1991 when Sister Lucy was working at Hope that a woman seven months pregnant approached her for help. Afraid that her husband was going to kill her so that he could bring in another woman into the house. Unable to do anything that evening, Sister Lucy asked her to come the next day. The day never dawned for the woman. Her husband killed her that night along with the fetus. After this incident, I was very sad and upset. I wanted to run away from this cruel world. It was at that time I met Father Francis Disa and he suggested to me instead of running away stay and do something for this type of women who are suffering. Mahin means mother's home in Marathi which is the local language. It represents the warmth, love and care of a real mother's home. The first house was built in Vadu Badruk to serve as a refuge for women in distress. Mahir's objective is not merely to shelter these women, but more importantly, to rehabilitate them. And as news of the work being done spread, more and more battered and destitute women came to Mahir for shelter and a new life. With the women came children. To look after these children, Mahir decided to open homes for the children too. The children are sent to government-run schools. The children's strengths and abilities are identified and these are channeled towards some form of extracurricular activity. Mahir is also dedicated to establishing clean and healthy environments. Accordingly, growing and harvesting of organic foods, use of non-polluting solar energy, recycle waste, vermiculture and biogas is the norm. All that Mahir has achieved would not have been possible without the constant help of friends of Mahir.